Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think, um, as I said in the ring, we should be celebrating one of the greatest fights, one of the greatest comebacks I think we've ever seen. Everybody's thoughts with Michael Conlon. I have heard that he's conscious and stable in hospital, so we'll wait for further updates. But just the most incredible fight, unbelievable act of bravery from Lee Wood to see through the first round, the, the second round, the, the middle storm come back in the fight, and just such a clinical knockout at the end, um, which. You know, many of us didn't even see coming. I said to Ben and I think shouted at Lee, you've got to knock him out to win this fight. It was the only way he was going to win the fight. Um, and he did it. And it was just incredible, incredible. Michael Connor was brilliant. Lee Wood was brilliant. The atmosphere was brilliant. And like I said, hopefully Michael Connor's okay and we can enjoy what was just an incredible night. Over to the floor for questions. Lee, just um, probably a, could have had a push start really, just with a knockdown in the first round. I thought guys really well. game plan, so I thought so I what we worked on. I got a double touch of that at the top piece. by someone said they switched up and a power to the end of the the fire I said flush up down I got shot at the floor. I he said no you're right, it's off the floor. Honest I thought it was just a flush up down, but um I knew it was close, yeah, I'd like to, I had to really open that time. That's two faced in the rule, 12 for a number, so you're going to finish it. Yeah, I'm going to say, you know, I'm one of the punches in the division. Yeah, I'm going to say, 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 yeah, Best fight for where many of us have seen this one. He's uh, an incredible amount of credit. Um, he caught you with a lot of body shots in there. How much did that take out of you? Because it looked like obviously you were looking down low because he kept on the diggy out the diggy there. Was there a concern there that you know he felt like he was getting to him almost from the horse or something? No, um, I'm a tough kid. But, um, we do we do manage to get He's a very good boy bunch. I think the time I spent at Ringwood Gym for over 10 years, body spot on ever since I managed to suck them up and cut them from here. But it did hurt with about eight body shots, it really took the wind out of it. And I caught him in body shot, I caught him in body shot one round and I thought, bang, that's definitely it. It wins and you throw a combination back, so he's a tough kid as well. Question just for Ben. Um, ben, how proud are you of the league coming through a lot of adversity? It's a huge moment for him, a lot of pressure fighting in his home city, and you've mentioned pressure all the time. It proved that you know, he's got you know, unbelievable heart and you know, incredible courage, and he managed to get that victory in front of him. Yeah, I've never worried about the pressure. I'm really dealing with the pressure. He's a uh, very cool, calm, collected guy, but one thing, one thing for me. Take boxing side is one of the best human beings I've ever met. And I said going into this that every blood, sweat and tear that both guys have shed in their school and years in their life led to this moment. And trust me when I say it, I've worked with a lot of good qualifiers. He deserves he deserves it. Question for Eddie, off the back of that performance, what makes Willie Wood? I mean Obviously, once we find out that, that Michael's okay, we can start planning the future. You've got a huge fight coming up. Kiko Martinez uh, against Josh Warrington um, will be another similar atmosphere to, to this tonight. It looks like, you know, how the WBA have allowed Leo Santa Cruz to have what is nearly, I think, three years without what boxing at 126 pounds is ridiculous. But you know what? We'll, 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 yeah. You know what? We'll fight Leo Santa Cruz as well. That's a great fight. For, for Lee Wood, you know, that's a city, I mean, he's, he's city grounds, you know, and the thing is about the Kiko Martinez fight, Kiko Martinez, if he wins, you do the fight at the city ground, if Josh Robinson wins, there's an argument whether we go city ground or Ellen Road, but you know what, it's, oh, nice, it's a nice argument to have, it's a nice argument to have, and uh, when he was walking down there to the ring, I, I said to him, this is just like Carl Froch against Buta, and it was, I said to Carl Froch that night, you lose tonight, mate. Folks, he's going to take everything you got, and I said to Lee as well, This is just the beginning for you, you've just got to believe in yourself and go and win this fight. And you know, but to do it like that in the 12th round, you know, I mean, I, I wish that you know Michael would have got up and we could have been celebrating like an all going out, but that, that will come. But it was 
just the most dramatic, the dramatic fight I've ever seen. And, and it just shows you two things in boxing. You know, one, never give up. Because even though many thought that he was spent, he's still got great power in both hands. And two, never switch off. Like, you know, Michael Connor, I thought Michael Connor was brilliant. I thought he boxed a brilliant fight. And just, you know, the pressure, everything, you know, they're knocked down in the 11. Was it, was it, it doesn't really matter. But just things started to change a little bit, you know. And, and um, I have to be honest, you know, I was screaming at him at the start of the show, saying, you must knock him out to win. But I never really see that coming. You know, I would love to have, you know, I dream of that coming, but if you ask me honestly, can he do it, I, I would, I, you know, I have my doubts, because he went through so much in it, and you see fighters lose their power when they've taken so much punishment in a fight, that was what was so spectacular about the knockout, he went down in the first round, he was out, out, got up, he was lucky the bell came, he, he somehow survived the second and third, but to, to still carry that power, in the 12th round, shows you how, how, how strong a puncher is, but as well, shows you how well conditioned he was. Because you don't get up from knockdowns like that and knock someone out in the 12th round if you haven't done your conditioning right. So, well done to Ben and all the guys. Question for Lee. Lee, did you know you needed to knock him out to win? That was time I thought I needed to do it. I didn't say maybe a knockdown and hard. I was just in the zone, you know. And then, that's much to say. That's good, everything. Like I said in the build-up, you know, I ain't got to quit him. It was round one, round two, not, not for one second. Question, I guess, is going on, Lee. Probably the same with the momentum swing and the tenth round. Was there anything you said between the start of the tenth round and the pressure on? Michael, the little pins were starting to see it. Seems to be about halfway through the tenth round. You were starting to take over. Not really, but obviously I'm a strong finish off. Lee, the band of the way, the body. The whole fight, well, I know Mick's got to bang the way back his body, but that was part of we wanted to bang away a big body just to slow him down the second half of the fight. He is one that's part of the field very long, like some of those shots were really And not only did he go into a shell on survival, he fired back, fought back, like one of them's apart from that, but it did start to take their toll and create moments of relief in the later part of the fight. Yeah, rematch and stuff like that. It was. From an atmosphere perspective, one of the most incredible atmospheres I've ever seen. Irish fans are amazing. These fans, you know, the city's been waiting for a fight like that for a long time. And you know, like 10 years ago, we had Carl Frotch against Lucian Buta, and that was that was one-sided, but it was very, very dramatic. And that was it felt like, you know, but that was even that was off the charts. Question for Eddie. Eddie, you know, nothing good is a fight in city, and you see the atmosphere here tonight. How realistic is City Brown? So if Lee Wood fights in Nottingham again, it will only be a team. Because, you know, that, that's, 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 that's been his dream for a long time. And I, I promised him, I said, if you win this fight, it's a city round. Listen, if it's Vegas or Santa Cruz or whatever it is, we'll see. But, you know, for a long time, Lee Wood has been scrimping around, right, for no money in the school, boxing for no money on the road. And the last, you know, couple of year or so, he started making money. Made a lot of money tonight, and he's going to make a load of money in the next in the next fight. And he's dedicated his whole life to the sport. And you saw, you see what he went through tonight. You know, he deserves everything he gets from here. And uh, you know, we'll make sure it's a it's a massive fight wherever it is. Very emotional. Um, I'm going to have a few tears, actually. Um, well done, mate. You're great, mate. Easy, mate. Well done, mate. Go on, mate. Massive heart. You've got massive heart. Ready? I'm leaving away from my kids, so it's hard, but it's worth it, yeah. Belfast, you said, um, I was saying before about winning the work out, one thing for the team, it's an honor. You just think that's the measure, that's huge. Yeah, I knew um, while I was prepared to go for this win that fight, uh, against Nanzu, I'd been prepared to walk through the fight, so uh, I knew it would be the same. So I knew, like I said before, if he was given 50, I'd give 59. Be to that big night here. Whatever he was going to be to give back to give him back to dig deep and end of the time of his fight. Okay, a good check. And, uh, 
Uh, I've already had a before, a couple of fights. I knew it was there, I just got to keep staying here to be strong. Even in the preparation for this fight, I went for quite a lot. Uh, <coughs> when the fight got announced, I couldn't feel right. It was a bit early for the preparation, probably gave me a bit more time. But uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I don't enjoy excuses because I won, but the preparation could have been better. The first bar, I was caught and a few bits and bobs happened. But like any camp, you know, you, you come across hurdles. But just like the fight, you know, you come across adversity. I've been through it in the camp, I've been through it in the fights. And I have that experience in my life, and I don't think, I mean, a lot of the people here tonight, Luke, and the people who've been backing you for years through the tough times, because it's in Nottingham, and you've, you've talked about wanting to fight in Nottingham, so what did that mean to have that support to all these people here? I say, you know, a um, small percentage of them uh, would have been you know, my debut at Clifton Edge and a very small percentage of them. Yesterday, there's more people in my way than there was my professional debut. <laughs> Um, but you know, they've been following me for, for years and um, they went to the hall when I got beat for the British title. And I was devastated. I was literally devastated for weeks. In fact, Jordan, Jordan you'll actually see it now. It's over that night. I've been on suicide watch. <laughs> um, no, it's been some journey to get to be on. And, um, I'm, all, I'm all prepared to, to turn over or for one bit. And, um, and there's some massive fires ahead. It's not over yet. I've said that before the fight. This is, this is my peak. This is where I finish. I've got some big fires ahead. Hey, given the emotion you showed in the press conference, how, how difficult was it to contain that emotion during the fight and maintain the game plan that Ben provided you? Um, <coughs> the game plan would have made that fight a lot easier. <laughs> but, um, you know, I struggled because Mick's a very good fight. He's a two time Olympian. So, skill wise, you know, it was hard for me to get around a game like Southport. I need to work on that a lot. The um, emotion mind, you know, I felt like I held it together and I kept with. The, the game plan majority of the time, you know, Ben said, don't choose the head earlier, don't choose the head earlier. And um, I chip away the water, chip away the water, and I think that's what we can fight in the end, the really, really rounds. How did you feel when you saw what happened with Michael at the end? Did you never see it, I never see it now. My stroke is alright, I've heard he's, he's all pretty talking, so I like to see him, make sure he's alright, but it's, it's hard to celebrate when uh, you know, we finish like that. And then, um, I think going into that 12th round after the, the, the knockdown of Sled, did your advice to Lee change based on goals, what, like, what you were going to ask him to do in that last round? Yeah, I think it was going into the 11th. I looked at Eddie and said, what you got? And he said, uh, me a knockout. And I said to Lee, look, I knew that, at least a mix of tough game lads. And I knew that he was going to come out and fight for his life and let his hands go earlier because he wanted that title. And it was, it, you know, we didn't really know. It wasn't clear cut, especially with the knockdown with um, the ahead, so I knew he was going to come out and let his hands go. I said, Lee, punch with him, time him. When you get into a clinch, walk him back to the ropes. Once you get there, occupy him up top, back downstairs, and then switch it up, switch the attack up top, and eventually he found the shot. Um, but listen, game plans, this, that, and the other, yes, fantastic. Brilliant job, both sides, but wow, right. What both guys gave, showed. Do you know what stands out for me more than anything? Not once did either of them look like. Them. Once did either of them quit and even cross their minds, either of them, uh, in a fight like that. Not once. It was as the fight went on, past seven, eight, it was the closing 30 seconds of every round. They were just trading up in the middle of the ring. But, but you know, it was just like. And I was thinking, with the body shots leaving, I was thinking, surely. He's going to take his toe to Yeah, and it, it was actually one round, I think it was the eight or nine. He looked, started to look tired, but you look, but then in the next round, you look like you've done your things. In the round before, I thought, oh no, he hasn't got enough left, you know. It's about, but, I think, throughout the fight, he caught me like eight body shots, took a bit out of me, and I just, I looked at him and then, he is gone, he is gone, so what? Like, I'm still standing here, but he um, just didn't stop. <laughs> Uh, I caught quite a bad with him, so yeah, Mike was so tough, so tough. You know, they made hands good. Yeah, yeah. Guys, a couple more. Is it hard for you, like, any Deutschen, just to enjoy the win when Michael's. Yeah, I just want to talk to him first, I think he's alright, you know, he is alright, yeah. Eddie, Michael Brown, right in front of you, and you know, next to his family, it looks very ugly when it happened. Yeah. Seems like that might be for sport, I think. Things like that just part of the sport, unfortunately. Um, it's not that they're not good for the sport. We, everyone knows, everyone's been around boxing <coughs> for years and years. I've seen it, you know, I've seen terrible things happen in that same seat. Um, 
and it's hard because my, I, you know, I was sitting there, Jamie Connor was on my left, his dad was on his left, and the whole fight we were back and forwards, you know, and he was goading me and I was goading him and you know, and in the eleventh I said, you know, I think you know, we got in here, we got in here and, and no one likes to see the fight end like that, you know, and um, he was he was unconscious then nuts. You know, he got hit by the right hand and he was he was out and, and sat sag through the ropes. The guys caught him on the way down and you know the fight was over before he left the ring, but obviously he, he went to Yeah, yeah. Um, they were brilliant. He he wanted eventually he wanted to get up to be fair to him, he wanted to take but they wanted to make sure they could administer it off. No, not I mean he, he was um, he was out on coming through the ropes and they called him on the way down whether he bumped his back or but I, I don't believe that he uh, he had a significant fall on the way down. I think he was hopefully more cushioned but he was uh, I haven't seen the replay because we're not airing it until we find that he's out. I'm sure some people are. But from the pictures I've seen, you can see he's out, standing up. And then he turned and separated. And I think Steve Gray was stopping the fight, but when he went through the ropes, he knew 20 seconds yet to get back in the ring, which he was, you know, about 20 minutes. I mean, he might not have got back in So I just hope he's okay. I just want to ask your thoughts on Gary Collins. Uh, Great performance, there. you know, and no one really does that for Miguel Vasquez. And, and for a lot of these guys, Kevin Agarco as well, it's a, it's a crazy experience for him. I mean, even Lee, Lee's never boxed it on a stage like that before. You know, he won the world title in that back garden. You know, he's, he's, had some, he's boxed on some big shows. true. But I said to him back there, before we went for a week, I said, go and do it, you know, I said, this is your time. I said, but most of all, Soak it up up there, and you really did. You was up there for about five minutes before you decided to walk. You know, but that's part and parcel. This is what you, I said. This is what you dreamed of your whole life. You know, like he said, when he was in Hull, got stopped by Gavin McDonald. You honestly think he'd be, he'd be headlining at night in the marina in front of nine thousand defending his world title? No chance. It's a Cinderella story. So, guys, on that note, we need to get out of here, all right? So, thank you very much.